Hello, Jess Too Good here, back from another video, and today I'm expressing my thoughts on the LEGO Angry Birds The Movie sets. The movie releases in May 2016 in the United States, and then these release in April 2016. And LEGO, really, when they first announced this, people were really negative towards it. But what we started to see was pictures of the minifigures, and people were still negative, but then we started to see pictures of the sets, and that got a lot of people interested. And now that we have these official pictures released on LEGO's official website, this theme looks freaking fun, alright? Sure, it's not the best looking, it doesn't have the best looking sets, but it looks fun as heck. So I'm glad about that. And it seems like LEGO puts out really good sets for themes that are based on a new movie that's the start of a franchise. This happened with the Ninja Turtle movie sets, in my opinion at least, the Lone Ranger sets, which I think about everybody agrees with, and the Prince of Persia sets, in my opinion. So that's what they're doing here, and these sets all look really interesting. So we'll start off with the biggest set, the King Pig's Castle. This set's going to be around $100, and what we got here is a classic or a standard castle. A lot of people were hoping to get one this year from the Nexon Knights line, but I have to say this set alone is more castle-y, more Lego castle-y than any of the Lego Nexon Knights sets if you, take, or if you uh, don't look at the minifigures. So we got a standard castle here, and it looks really, really good. Take off the pig imagery, and you can stick it in your LEGO castle setup. And we got a few exclusive minifigures. are actually in this line. What's really interesting that a lot of people aren't going to appreciate because a lot of people are just against the minifigures. Each set has exclusive minifigures. Actually, all the minifigures in all the sets are exclusive, except the one Leonard minifigure in the pirate ship set, which is the same as the king pig in this set, except the king pig has a crown and a, a kind of cloth piece, which is exclusive. So that one is exclusive to this set, but the Leonard isn't exclusive. And I guess that says that Leonard is the king of the pigs. I don't know if that's a spoiler or not. And the rest of the setup is really cool. You got a tower in the back, which looks great, but it also holds the one thing I don't like about this set, which is the slide on the front. I like the slide as a play feature, and I like how there's a slide on the back, but the slide on the front of the tower looks quite out of place. I wish they chose a different color other than the brown slide piece, because um, on the front it just looks a little bit odd. But uh, we got uh, kind of a, the left portion of it is different from the right portion. It's not symmetrical, which I like that. And it's a whole play set. Uh, it seems like the left has like a hidden plane feature that pops out. It has some TNT and it has a kind of a little spinning food display. And then the right has like a little chef kind of tower, a uh, boulder that falls out. And somewhere in this whole set, they have like a little eating area for the piggies, which uh, looks really funny. And they have like soda cans and everything. And Overall, the set itself just looks darn cool, and I think it's going, it's already, I hear so many Castle fans raving about this set, um, and one thing is it also comes with a little slingshot, which is, you know, the classic Angry Birds thing, but I think this is the only one that's a slingshot, and the one in the $20 set doesn't even look like a slingshot as much as this one does, which is kind of funny because Angry Birds uses slingshots and everything like that. Also, the Mighty Eagle here is exclusive, um, as, uh, an exclusive model together. Seems like he uses the wings of like a Pegasus from the Elves line. And like I said, since all the minifigures are exclusive, this one comes with an exclusive red minifigure as well. And a four-man pig, a shelf pig, and then of course the King Pig, which we already glossed over. Next up is the Piggy Pirate Ship. This set is actually on my bottom half of the theme. Basically, the sets are split. There's six sets. Three of them are in the upper half for me, as in my favorites, and I think they're much superior than the bottom half, which this one is included in there. And so the Piggy Pirate Ship itself, it looks like a, a much simpler version of Metal Beard Sea Cow. That's what it reminds me of. There's a lot of gears showing. You could even spin the gears around. And this did appear in the movie, or in the trailer, and it looks like how it appeared in the trailer. I'm actually kind of shocked at how accurate it is. And this one comes with um, the bomb, which that is voiced by Danny McBride, which is weird having a Danny McBride character in Lego or a Danny McBride character in a kid's film. That's even weirder. And what else we got here is a little, I don't know, I, I, I like the build. Look, okay, I like the build of the pirate ship. I like having different pirate ship builds than the traditional one that we usually get. And I like having pirate ship sets as a whole, especially cheaper ones than $100. And this looks like it might be 60 to 70. I'm thinking 70 because of the box size. But I just, I don't know, there's something about it that I just, it's not as cool as it could have been, I feel like. Um, I think there's a little bit too much Technic pieces showing, especially with kind of the, the, the flags on top and the gears on the side, which is accurate, but I just, 
I don't know. I just it's a good set. Don't get me wrong. It's just that it doesn't. I don't know. It doesn't please me as much as it could have. So that's my feelings on that one. And also, it comes with a pirate pig. I forgot to say that. And the pirate pig must have that. Must be a new pirate uh, hat. Am I correct? I, I think so. I think so. Uh, that that must be like a new mold as a whole. So I hope that it could. It, it seems like it's going to be one that has a receiving stud and not one that would fit on a minifigure. Uh, but I would hope that it could. It would you know look okay on a minifigure because I think that would make it a lot more interesting as a piece. Next up is the destruction of Pig City, and this is probably my third favorite out of all the sets and I think it looks really good. People are raving over this set because of the hot dog piece and yeah that's awesome that we're finally getting a hot dog piece. So odd that we're first getting it in the Angry Birds theme because you know we needed we had a hot dog guy last year in the minifigure series he could have used that piece or we also had the firehouse with a hot dog stand from this year which he could have used that piece. So why in the Angry Birds theme? But anyways, there's there's a hot dog stand in here, so you know that fits. And I'm definitely probably going to just take that off and put it in my Lego City, that the whole hot dog stand, my imaginary Lego City, because I, I don't even I don't even think I have a Lego City at this point. Like I keep taking them apart and putting them away. But anyways, that's neither here nor there because the rest of the set, even though there's that awesome part with the hot dog stand and everything, I like the rest of the set. I like the house builds. Uh, they look simple, but then again, I, I'm probably going to fit that in my Lego City as like an attachment to another building with that color because I like the yellow and kind of teal or aqua colors they use there. Um, I like there's like a little phone stand, which is really cool. I like the transportation system, which looks like a cool play feature, and I also like the exploding TNT play feature. I'm really hoping those pieces are printed because I know they also come in the big uh, pig castle set. Also interesting is that it comes with Stella, an exclusive mold to the set, an exclusive bird. Uh, but like I said, all the other minifigures have exclusive face prints, so don't worry about that. Um, but that's kind of funny because, you know, Angry Birds Stella is like a different game. Um, so it's cool that all the Angry Birds characters are going to appear in this movie. Um, other than that, I mean, there's not much else to say. Um, I'm just hoping it's $40, and I, I really like this set just because of how weird it is. It's a weird-looking build. But I think that's its charm, you know? Um, it's not so weird that it's bad. It's so weird that it's cool. All right, next up, we got Bird Island Egg Heist. This is my second favorite of the whole line. I think this set looks really, really good um, because it's only going to be about $30, but that hut or house or whatever, um, which is Matilda's house, looks like Yoda's hut. That's what I'm thinking. When I saw that, I was like, that's Yoda's hut. Um, but I, I like the actual build of the house itself. I like how it's a play set. Um, cause it, it's cool. It, like, it seems like there's three play sets and then there's three vehicle sets and then there's three I like, which are the play sets or three that I adore that, which are the play sets. And then the three vehicle sets I still think are pretty good, but they're not on the same level as the play sets. Either way, um, the actual house, like I said, it's, I don't think there's going to be much inside the house. Um, uh, which we still don't have a, a direct picture of the exterior from the backside, but I still think that it's a cool looking house. And I like how you also got those little seaweed pieces in like a pink color. I think that's kind of cool. You got the biker, pigs, biking, or, you know, motorcycle, which that's the weakest part of the set in my opinion. Um, not the biker pig, because I think all the minifigures, at this point, I've just given in to the minifigures. They're accurate, and they look so weird that they're going to be fun. Kind of like, I guess, a Lotto minifigure. Um, but the biker pig... That build, I don't know. I don't, I don't. I don't. I'm not too fond of that build. But I do like how you got a lot of eggs in the set. Um, you got like I think four eggs, and then you also got the little stand from the trailer, the little sign, um, which I think they translated that build really well in Lego form. Which it's brick built and it looks pretty darn cool. And I just remember that scene from the trailer. And the trailer itself is really good. It's not like laugh out loud funny, but it has like a good story to it. It it made me so sold on the movie, which I was like totally like okay, this is going to be mediocre. But after I saw that trailer, I was like, you know what, this could be really fun. And I'm hyped up for the movie, honestly. So, yeah, not much else to say about this set. Also, Matilda has, is an exclusive mold, um, an exclusive character to the set. But like I said, all the prints in each set are exclusive, except that one Leonard in the Pirate Pig set. All right. So we got the Piggy Plane Attack. Now, this set is in my bottom half. Like I said, all the vehicles are they're like in my bottom three, but that doesn't mean they're bad. It's probably my least, or you know what? I It used to be my, well, no, I, I don't know. It's battling with the next set as my least favorite, 
but both are so weird that I like them. But I think this is definitely a better set than the next one, uh, but I just don't like it as much as the next one. Uh, but it's because it's a it's a nice looking biplane, you know, like um, a little. It's it's a, it's a really nice looking plane, and I like how that came out. Um, it uses some red colors and everything. I I like the build as a whole, and you could definitely use that outside of the the um, Angry Birds, you know, theme. The only thing I don't like is how the front of it is kind of this, uh, it uses the little uh, basket piece. I don't like that. That's the only part I don't like of this whole build. But other than that, it's a really cool looking build for a $20 set, which I assume this is $20. Uh, the pilot pig looks really silly. He's one of the sillier looking pigs and I like how he came out. And this is the only red that doesn't look angry, which is kind of funny. The actual catapult itself, you know, it's nice to get another catapult. Um, but I, I wish that build was a little bit more simpler and they maybe put another build that was a little bit more interesting uh, than you know just a basic catapult. And then we got the smallest set and this is one, I, this set is so weird. I shouldn't like this set, but I like it a lot more than I should. I don't think it's that good of a set in general, uh, but I do like how you got the exclusive Chuck figure um, who seems to be maybe the second most prominent bird of the whole uh, movie besides Red. But besides that, I mean, it, it's it's a cheap way to get those egg molds. So I could see this really selling for that alone because you got three of the new egg molds. So a lot of AFOLs are going to want to get this set. But the actual car itself looks weird. But I think it's a interesting enough design that I like it. And I could actually say that's better than most of the, the small, like, $13 superhero builds, um, which tend to be really, like superficial like vehicles this one looks like a full vehicle it just looks really odd i don't know um but i i can't say it's that good of a set but i just like it a lot i don't know why i guess because i tend to like uh licensed uh like cheaper sets and i like how you got chuck in here and of course an exclusive piggy's nice and the egg pieces and you get three of them so that's it for this theme. Like I said, I, I could easily rank the sets, and I kind of already said it throughout, but uh, the Pig Castle is my favorite. Second favorite is Bird Island, and then the third favorite is the Pig City, and then the fourth favorite is Pirate Ship. And then fifth and sixth is a tie between the plane and the, the small car set. I just don't know. I th I think I think the small car set is probably fifth, and then the plane is sixth, even though I acknowledge that the, the plane set is better than the small car set. So what do you guys think? Leave your thoughts down below, and you can check out uh, lego.com's Angry Bird teaser site, which is where I got all these pictures from. And I'll see you guys later.